All right, welcome back, everybody. This second video is going to describe some goofy families, uh, some problems that you may never have seen before. The first one here says, find the equation for the family of lines with slope negative two. So the first thing that I think of when I'm trying to find equations of lines, I'm thinking slope intercept form, I'm thinking point slope form, maybe standard form. But when they give me the slope, I'm thinking y equals mx plus b. Now the strange thing about these problems is the solution is generic. We're just going to shove this slope in for m and then that's where we stop. Once we have that negative 2 in for m, we are done. That is the equation for the family of lines with slope negative 2. Let's draw this family portrait what would this family portrait look like? The y-intercept can be anything you want. Let's say the y-intercept is uh, the origin. Then the slope would be negative 2. It falls as you read it from left to right. There's one family member. <clears throat> what about the family member that uh, has a y-intercept up here? Y5. There's another family member. So this family portrait looks like a series of parallel lines, all having slope of negative 2. I hope that makes sense for you. The second part of part, uh, problem 1, find the specific family member that passes through the ordered pair 2, 5. So we want to find out which family member is it that passes through the ordered pair, go over 2 and up 5. We might be looking for this guy right here. Okay? So, how are we going to do this? Remember, those things are in alphabetical order. We're just going to shove 5 in for y. The slope has to be negative 2. That was the characteristic of this family. x is 2. The only thing that we don't have is b. Plug in those numbers in, you get. nine equals b watch this this is going to be awesome nine equals b now i'm going to flip it d equals p nine equals b flip it vertical d equals p nine equals b Rotate it. Oh, 9's B. Rotate it back. 9's B. That's exciting stuff. So what is the specific family member? All we do is take that value and shove it back into the original family equation. So plus 9. And that is the family member that passes through the ordered pair 2, 5. Let's try another one. Find the equation for the family with y-intercept of 0, negative 5. So this time, the trait that all family members uh, have is that it passes through 0, negative 5. Since that first coordinate is 0, we know that negative 5 is the y-intercept. So y equals mx plus b. That's a generic slope-intercept form. And then we substitute our specific trait into that generic equation. y equals mx minus 5. So what seems unusual, we stop. That's the answer. That's the family and its equation. Let's draw a family portrait for this situation. The family portrait, the characteristic that they all share is that they're going to pass through the ordered pair 0, negative 5. Before we draw this, try to imagine what it look, looks like in your brain. 
The slope this time is the variable. How about a slope of zero? And it would be y equals negative five. That'd be a horizontal line right through that intercept. What if the slope was one? Throw that in there. That is a diagonal line, 45 degree angle. Negative one. Two. Negative two. So what do you think that looks like? Firecracker is correct. It looks like firecrackers. If you said it looks like an asterisk, that is incorrect. Let's go on with part B. Find the specific family member with slope 10. Whoop. You just throw it in there. Y equals 10 X minus five. And you are done. Hopefully, if you have any questions, make sure that you email me and I will email you back or we'll talk about it in class the next time we meet. Last one, find the equation for the family passing through. This time, it doesn't give you a y-intercept. So since it doesn't give you a y-intercept, this is gonna be a little trickier for some people. Instead of using slope-intercept form, what form do you think would be better suited for this problem? I'm going to use that one too. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Point-slope form for the equation of y. It didn't tell you what form it had to be in, so I'm going to use the point-slope. We don't know anything about the slope, but we know that it has to pass through, and each family member would have to pass through the ordered pair 3, 4. Everywhere you see a y1, replace it. We don't know what the slope's going to be. It's going to be the variable. And so these problems are strange. You won't get a specific answer for some of them, you're just going to get the family of solutions for them. Let's draw a quick family portrait of what this would look like. Go right three, up four, and then the slope. It could be zero. It could be one. It could be negative one. It could be this. It could be that. It could be that. It could be that. So we make a firework with the center of this firework equal to the ordered pair three, four. That's it again. Uh, check out the solutions manual and look and see if you're on the right track. Next time we meet, we'll go over a bunch of homework problems. See you then.